What's going on? I was like not even paying attention. I was like, oh, we're live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, it's afternoon now here on the East Coast, so it's like noon on the East Coast. I hope you all are having a great day. Hello, everyone. Hello in the chat. Hello. Hello, Joel. Hello, uh, Maria. Hello. Oh, my gosh. The names are going by so quickly. I can't. I cannot read them. Hello, Ava. Hello, Daphne. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Clown Fan. Hello, uh, Vosna. Hello, Garden Crossing. Hello, <laughs> I can't read the book. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. I, um, so spoiler alert, I did not feel like editing today. So instead of making a video, I decided to check in on, oh, you live in Boston. So it's, oh, Olivia, that's awesome. So we're going, um, we're going live and checking in on, on Salt Bay. Um, instead of making, cause I don't, I just didn't feel like editing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know this. it's like it was I put on slow mode I'm like I don't know it's not super intense like 10 seconds but like I just couldn't read it all oh my gosh Rebecca Rebecca thank you so much for the super chat you're villager hunting who are you hunting for who are you hunting I have a feeling that oh my gosh Imogen thank you so much I have a feeling that there will be a villager hunt on St. Rosie like really soon Maybe we'll see. It depends on who wants to leave. Harry Photography, thank you so much for the super sticker of the unicorn. So cute, so cute. Hello from Frankfort, Kentucky. Awesome. Kentucky's got like good vibes going with all the horses and stuff. We love us some equines. Um. So oh my gosh, CJ Ram, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's so nice. Uh, can't wait to watch your stream today. By the way, you've been, I've I featured your channel on my page. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, you're searching for uh, Molly, Ketchup, and Mira, and Sky. I will hope you find one of them. They are both awesome villagers. Awesome villagers. Joel, if your stream is lagging, please refresh your page. I think uh, it might be sometimes YouTube sometimes it does like weird stuff but the internet's pretty good on our end so should be okay should be okay everyone um Vivian just moved in oh my gosh she's one of my favorite villagers she's so good so good how am I I am okay I'm okay had a having a rough few days due to stuff that's happening in uh, my fam fams but you know it's just like life stuff so I'm here to hang out with you guys to, to distract me from life stuff so, or Lily. Lily is good too, Rebecca. Lily is amazing. I wish I had found Lily that day, uh, but I didn't. Oh, your Nook's Cranny is upgrading today? That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, our Nook's Cranny is not upgrading today. Well, as far as I know. Um, so I, I don't know. By the way, before, before we get into the gameplay, I want to show you guys a really fun video of Clover. He was like, um, 
He was having a whole fit before the stream started. He's sleeping now, um, but we'll we'll just we'll just take a look. You guys are gonna laugh. This um, hold on, let's stop the sound there. I'll turn the sound effects back on, and we will take. I just want to show you guys really quick because you'll laugh. Let's see. Here we go with this. Here he goes. Just causing a ruckus. Are you done, Clover? <laughs> no? Okay. Just one last word, huh? So that's what was going on before the stream started. So I just, that's, he's barking out the window all the time. So hopefully he's sleeping now. He should be good. <laughs> he should be good. <laughs> oh, it made your dog pay attention. Yeah, it's green screen, K. Because, like, it's I didn't set up the green screen in all my scenes. So, oops. Because now, now you know that I'm not in a real room. My my office does not look like this. So, whereas right now my husband and I share an office. And he doesn't want me to show his desk in the background. So, <laughs> all the streams. So, let's not delay. Let's get into the goodness so today it should be, um, so yesterday we had a, an upgrade in resident services and we got Isabel. I did not film it. I did it in, in, in the private, <laughs> in the privacy of my own home just because I wanted to like just chill and play. And I don't think it's that exciting anyway to see resident services open. <laughs> so first time I hear Clover Bark, Basie, he is a... He, he's, he uses his voice a lot. <laughs> he's, he's not subtle about when he, when, when he needs things. Okay, Lily, have a great day. I'll see you in the replay. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Whitney. Yeah, so he, he's like super loud, Clover. Oh my gosh, here we are. It's Biscuit. Biscuit, the meme dog, is one of my favorite. Little dogs are the loudest. I, it is. It's true. It's true. Oh my gosh. Uh, have Louise. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're yeah. You know what? It's weird how like you guys in the UK and in Europe don't have like this the closet action that we do here. We have like, we have all the closets and you guys have all the wardrobes. <laughs> so I don't understand why they like, they just, they, they didn't do you guys, did you guys dirty. All right. Hello everyone. It's right now it's Salt Bay. It's 12, 11 p.m. on Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. Now for today's announcements. Starting today, Salt Bay has its very own campsite. The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island. The kind of our residents can't think of anything more fitting for Salt Bay. I'm sure we'll get plenty of visitors. Take moments to wander over the time. And of course, we'll be holding a special time ready to celebrate the good news. If you're participating, you have time to check in this time. Okay, right, okay. Okay. Wait, there's no campsite there? I mean, campsite visitor today? Is it tomorrow? I mean, if it's tomorrow, we might. I don't time travel, usually, but we might. We might. <laughs> we might. Let's just take a I set it up. Um, so here we go. We'll take a look at it. Should we do anything today, though? If it's like... Oh, hello. Hello. Hey there, Nini. I only... I always get... I only get lost half the time I leave my house now. The other time... The other half of the time I get lost most of the time. And I've memor me memorized most of the names of folks. Now I just have to learn which name goes to who. So, um... I gotta... Welcome to the island thing, but for you, even though you already live here, it's not weird. <laughs> a bamboo stool. Oh, thanks. That's so cute. That's so cute. All right. Biscuit is like, he's, he's a whole vibe and I love him. I love him. I know I am tempted to time travel. I'm, te I'm very tempted. Cause you guys what if it's like what 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 if it's Marshall 
Sophia Gaming, I did not restart. I bought a new Switch. <laughs> so now I have two Nintendo Switches. It's not the first time I've had two uh, of the same console. Unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> it's not. All right, let's go across here. Let's see. Um, any recommendation for villagers for me to draw? Well, you know what? I mean, I always love the duck villagers. So I put some ducks here. This <laughs> is just for fun. Um, we got palm trees growing. Oh, here's the bottle. Oh, you know what? I think um, Gulliver was here yesterday and I didn't talk to him. That's a shame. <laughs> that is a shame. Um, so anyway, let's check out the campsite and see what's going on at the campsite. I think we can time travel one day. It's not a big deal. If I time travel backwards, nothing changes, right? Oh, look at this. Yay. Yay. All right. Cool beans. Let's, oh, thank you, Pad. Thank you so much for saying you like my content. I'm gonna, I'm ruining usernames. So sometimes I'm just not, I'm just gonna be like. Here we go, here's Gail. She finally moved in. Hello, Snacky. Yay, me too. Cause I really just wanna see who is gonna be the smug villager. That's all I want, you know? <laughs> That's all I want. Yeah, no time ta no travel, uh, time travel doesn't really affect your game except for turnips. Um, so I think, let's just go in and talk to uh, the peeps in resident services and see what they're up to. While wow, Justin Guarini is on live streaming pros today. Do you guys, I mean, are you guys old enough to remember like Justin Guarini? Wasn't he on like, wasn't he like one of the winner of uh, American Idol, like the second season or something? <laughs> Second season. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Do some weeding. Whatever, Tom. You do the weeding. Snowboys vanish if you time travel. Uh, whatever. Uh, runner up to Kelly Clarkson. Yes. You guys heard, was that the first season or the second season? I feel like, I feel like that was the second season of American Idol, or was it the first? I don't remember. But anyway, he's on live streaming pros right now. Don't leave the stream to go watch it. But like, I'm gonna watch the replay. <laughs> gonna watch the replay. Um, What's going on in the Nook shopping? Okay, by the way, I got, um, let's see what's in the special goods. Oh, we got a dry, oh, this drying rack is really colorful. Let's order. Um, and also, oh, this one's different than the one I have. Okay. <laughs> like, I love how if you get a different island, you get all the different colorways of stuff. Um, but let me, season two was clay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember that. That was a long time ago, guys. Um, oh, wait, we got different colors. All right, I'm gonna order this also. Um, this one, well, I don't have it for my this island, so I'll order it for this island. Um, but the uh, the stuff for the Nook Mile re redemption <laughs> is different than my other island, and I love it because I have an, an orange airport. Um, so this is green, this is blue, because before I had green, I have white street lamps finally, thank the lort. I have this utility pole with some stuff on it, which is awesome. A red drink machine, which I think I had a black one on my other island. That one's a different color. That's a different color I had red before, I think. Did I have red before? Black? Black or red? I don't remember. This one is the same as I have on my other island. Uh, this one's different. This one's blue as opposed to white. Uh, I had white on my other island. I've got silver here. Uh, my phone box is yellow here. I had red on my other island. Did I have red? Yeah. Um, sandbox is the same, I think. The cotton candy stall is the same. The playground gym is different, um, but I haven't bought that anyway. The, the antenna is the same, actually. Soccer goal is the same. Solar panel is different color. Wind turbine is red instead of blue. Lighthouse is brown this time, which is awesome. Monster statue is different too. Pool is the same, which I'm like, really? Um, and the teacup right is different. So I'm really happy to have some different colorways of items. Do you want black street lamps? Oh my gosh, I have black street lamps. Um, so we can buy some fences now, which is awesome. 
um, and some DIYs. And I forget, guys, I've forgotten how expensive it is to buy all of these things. 2000 2000 2 like, look at the prices. 3000 like, it's insane. It's insane. And all of this stuff, so expensive. So as you can see, I've been sort of really grinding on the Nook Miles, but probably not, not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, let's say so you have the brown telephone box and the brown and green seats. Uh, they're, oh, they're the worst ones. Oh, I like the brown telephone box. I think it's good. Um, so I think, why did I get Nook Miles for, oh, for Nook shopping. Excellent, I'll take it. So let's go see what's in the shop, maybe? Before we do any like insane time traveling. I do not time travel, guys. And I probably won't do it a lot, uh, but uh, I will, I, I don't have a problem doing it on this island because I've pretty much experienced the game. Um, oh my gosh, look at this teddy bear. I need it. <laughs> I need it! All right, um, and is there anything? When do you get terraforming? After, I think it's after you have KK Slider. Oh wait, we can buy this now. Wow. So much money, so much money, boys. I mean, can I, I have to, I have to. Cause I, I need, I need to be able, you know what? I'm gonna put one in my like, okay. That doesn't deserve to be there. Oh, I'm doing yoga in the shop. Didn't mean to. <laughs> this one deserves to be, that one deserves a place. That's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Look at it. It's so cute. I love it. All right. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right. All right, let's actually, you know what? I have to. Oh, it's, don't go away, don't go away. No, don't go away. Stop. Camera. Oh, why don't you dance? Come on, Marshall did it. Eh. All right, fine, fine. Uh, let's go check around and see what is happening around the island. Oh, we've got some, let's just dig up some fossils before we do any of the, the time traveling. I feel so dirty time traveling. <laughs> I'm a dirty time traveler. Uh, how did you get that reaction? Oh, you have to, um, you have to, wait, I just, I just bought them. <laughs> From Nook's Grant, are you talking about the little dancing reaction? I just, I just purchased it for like, it seems like a million bells. <laughs> That's so many bells. Like what, 19,000? Hello, like what? Have you ever used Nookazon? No, I've never used Nookazon. All right, over here is so empty. So empty. You're a dirty time traveler? Yeah. This is like the one time I'm gonna do it, I think. Uh, or maybe maybe not, maybe not. I've thought about time traveling just because this island is mostly um, for decorating and like theming. And the other island is like my like actual real, like fun gameplay island. Um, Nukazan is so overpriced. I don't even know what's going on at Nukazan. Yes, sir, catch up with, are you in your house? I just like to say say hi to my, my villagers, you know, just to, just to say what's up. <gasps> She's making something. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Okay, first of all, her um, starter, this is her ketchup starter house. And I think it's really cute actually. Um, it's I almost identical to the starter house that I had for bubbles, um, but it's got more pink in it. And I really like the pinkness of it all. It's actually adorable. Um, Ketchup, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, fine, I should have read the instructions, whatever, ugh! 
Oh, what's up, Nini? What are you doing? Ahem. Well, I'm making a cardboard table. Oh, I think I already know how to make a cardboard table. Okay. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh, no, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. All right. I think our house is really cute. And um, I forgot what song this is. Neapolitan. Oh, okay, I don't have that one yet. Your petals in our starter house looks the exact same as ketchups. Oh my gosh. Um, is maybe is this the starter house they give to peppy villagers? <laughs> maybe that's a thing. You know, um, it's re it's a I think it's a really cute house. Um, I officially volunteered to foster ketchup if you order. <laughs> I mean, maybe that might be a thing. You've made thousands of Nook Miles tickets on Nickazon. Really? Let's see. That is the Peppy Starter House. Okay. Um. Oh wait, I didn't even open this gift that um that biscuit gave me. Bamboo stool. Okay, he told me it was he told me it was a bamboo stool. Okay. Um. Peach wall. Oh bummer. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I heated up my coffee and now it's probably cold again. Okay, the Oakley Dokley. Um, so I want to get this like like campsite villager action started, but you know what? Let's. Oh, Ducky, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying the channel. Um, maybe we'll do like a little, we'll do a little ceremony and then we will, um, do dirty time traveling. <laughs> dirty, dirty time traveling. All right. Tom Nook, hook it up. Hook it up. What's my flag going to be? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Um, let's do, oh, we have we have two. Let's do one for the campsite. All right, you know, it's been a while since I've done these little ceremonies. I think they're adorable. They're adorable. Look at it, guys. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Salt Bay's brand new campsite. Yay. Canberra is behind a tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Salt Bay is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do believe this campsite will bring more attention to Salt Bay. If we treat our guests well, they may consider moving here. It's just what any growing island needs. I want everyone to here to stop by the campsite and have positive interactions with any guests here. Just positive interactions. <laughs> you can't come and like a jeer or something, you know? Speaking of positive interactions, let's hear from someone who saw to it that we could build a campsite. Let's give a warm salt bay welcome to Nini. Anything to add? Um, we're amazing. That was my we're amazing expression. Yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Nini. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the circle button. Circle and a square button. Is that what it's called? Yes. Well then, with hope for our continued growth and celebrate Salt Bay's beautiful campsite. Hooray! Yay! That's so cute! Oh, thank you, Ducky Crew. It's Canberra Yeri. Yeah, she's hiding behind a tree. Why is my character called Nini? Because back when I was, um, back when I was younger... My, uh, that was my nickname. Uh, because my, my, K is not my whole name, it's a nickname, and my cousin could not say my entire name. So instead of saying it, she just said Nini. <laughs> so that my, my, uh, my father started calling me that, my grandmother, everybody. So, but no one has called me that for a long time. Uh, so I, I thought I, it would be appropriate to bring it back. Bring it back. Um, let's actually, let's just look around for a, a, a moment. Do you recommend I, if I find Marshall, 
would I get him even if it meant getting Lolly away if she's like, if you really want Marshall, and if you found Marshall, take Marshall. You know what I mean? Like, Marshall's pretty cute. I mean, I like Marshall, like a lot. <laughs> you finally got Judy? <gasps> Congratulations. Um, but if you really like him, then, you know, do what you need to do. All right, should I weed? I don't know. What's my favorite season in Animal Crossing? Probably, um, I thought fall was pretty awesome. Fall was pretty, pretty cool. Which smug am I hoping to find at the campsite? I mean, honestly, I mean, probably Marshall, but I have Marshall on my other island. It'd be weird. I'd have to wait for him to move. Um, so probably not. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we'll just, oh, we can't really invest 10,000. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just do a thousand. It's fine. Every little bit of money is important. Who's my favorite NPC? Hmm, that's a good question. I think Flick is my favorite NPC, even though I don't like really talk to Flick anymore. I like the bug models that he makes. And I think Flick is really cool. You know, he's got like all those piercings and stuff and he's a, uh, uh, what kind of animal is he? I totally forgot, but he's cool. He's a chameleon, yeah? He's super cool. All right, well, I guess it's time for me to do like dirty time traveling. Do I like Bob? I love Bob. Bob is amazing. So I do, I, sa I save and then I, t and then I change the time on my switch. It seems so dirty. We'll just go forward one day. We're not gonna do like, you know, anything crazy. All right. Um, where, 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 where? <laughs> see, see, I've never time traveled. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know how to do it. Where is it? Wait, system? Date and time. Oh, see? Dirty, dirty time travel. Dirty, dirty time traveling. Dirty. Just dirty. Do I have to change this? I think I do, huh? <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm so mad. All right, there it is. Dirty. Dirty time travel. Dirty time traveling. Dirty. <laughs> Why don't I like time traveling? I don't know. It kind of ruins the fun for me of like the real life cl uh, clock. Because uh, back in the day when I when the game first came out, I uh, I was really intrigued by the idea that the game uh, runs on your GameCube time clock. I thought that was the coolest. Um, and so it kind of it kind of it it takes away a little bit of the magic for me. Um, but you know, just one day it's not going to be a big deal. Just so we can see who's quit the game. You didn't close it. You got to close the game. Hold on. <laughs> Is it? Uh oh. Will this work now? Or do I have to go forward again? Okay, we'll see what happens. Do I need to go forward again? It will work now? Okay, good. I don't want to go forward to like the fifth, you know? It's getting all crazy. <laughs> all crazy. All right, good, good, good. This like loading screen takes a long time, you know? I didn't have to close it. Yeah, I didn't think so, right? I could just like kind of, I mean, it wasn't, uh, oh, we'll see. We'll see. <gasps> Snowing today. <laughs> Snowing today! Nevea, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Loading stream of shame. <laughs> of shame. <laughs> shame! Oh, I have a, sh I have a shame bell. That's, that's what I can play that for myself now. Um, that, um, that I've, that I've been a dirty time traveler. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Shh. 
ashamed. Shame. Shame. There it is. I got the dirty time traveling shame bell. All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right now it's up eight, twelve thirty-two p.m. on Thursday. No, it's not. February fourth, twenty twenty-one. Now for today's announcements. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Come meet our guest in person and find out more about them. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the lovely, so lovely days. Okay. <laughs> you guys like the shame bell? It's just, it's it's an app that just does that. It just it just it just uh. It rings the shame bell and says shame. That's all it does. And it's the greatest free app, like, ever. Ever. All right. Well, it's snowing today. And we got all of our gifts, I guess. Oh, Leaf is here! The excitement! Okay, actually, his, his name is, like, uh, Lef? Leif? Or, uh... His name... Okay. It's been... Controversy. In America, some people pronounce it Leaf. And then it's Leif and life uh so jury's still out <laughs> jury's still out whenever i see um the combination i and uh or ei next to one another i think of the um the the little ai diphthong the life um because i studied so much german so but i but i really don't know it's not it's not a german name it's like norwegian name or something isn't it so, um, oh, we got bamboo shoes. Who knew? Germans would say life. Yes, thank you, Madeline. Yeah, like I... But is it, is it Leif? But some people say Leif. Some people pronounce that name Leif like it's their name and they're like, it's Leif. I think I am Schneider. I also think it's it, Animal Crossing's meaning it to be like a bad pun, like it's Leif. But, you know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and you know, maybe that'll be part of the, the, the next, the next, uh, uh, villager pronunciation video. There'll be a part two. Uh, I pronounce belief because it's associated with plants. Yeah, I think it's part of their bad puns. Um, but, you know, still, still controversial. Norwegian pronunciation is Leif. Yeah, I have a cousin. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Leif? And then it's like, some people say life. Leif Erikson is Austin's often said Leif. Leif Erikson. Yeah, man. It's Leif and no one can change my mind. <laughs> Controversy. <laughs> Controversy. How, do you, how did I record my Switch? You know what? I made an entire video on how I record my Switch f uh, footage. So look back. It's called like, uh, like it's, an, it's an unboxing video where I unboxed my switch and it has my setup so and i but i use the elgato capture card the hd 60s plus because i have mac and that is the only one really that works well with mac okay here we are ducky crew no problem here we are which smug do we think is in here you know who I think it's probably, it's probably like, um, <laughs> Hippo. <laughs> it's probably Hippo. <laughs> if it's Raymond, it's, that's hilarious. I mean, Raymond can't live here forever, but it's hilarious. Zeller, Henry, Huck. If it's Huck, I'm happy. Colton, Pietro, Chops, <laughs> Rodney. Don't say Rodney. Well, Rodney, I don't know why everyone hates Rodney. Julian, if it's Julian, that's amazing. And he might have to stay forever. It can't be lucky because he's lazy. If it's Chatter, that's winning the lottery in this island. Because this is a food thing, I, through food themed island. And that would be amazing. If it's Shep, that's also amazing. Because Shep, I've never seen Shep on a villager hunt. I would have taken him. Right? Ken or Henry? I hope it's not Ken. I just can't have another chicken. <laughs> Chatter would be amazing. All right. I'm going to say a little Salt Bay prayer. 
Tom Nook please send Chatter or Julian. Yes, Shep is smug. Isn't that amazing? Chatter vibes. Chatter vibes. Even though I don't like, I don't like the mice. But this is a food themed island and he's perfect. Chatter vibes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's Henry. Okay. Okay. I mean, it could have been worse, right? Guys, it could have been worse. Christina, thank you for subscribing. It could have been worse. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Buongiorno! The name's Henry. Glad to see I'm the first one using this campsite. And you live on this island, don't you? I figured. Yeah, I'm pretty good at reading people. I can even tell that you're really gonna enjoy having me here. <laughs> wow. Wow, he's cute though. I like him. Snooze it. This island is so great. What makes it so great? Well, I'm glad I asked myself. It's the fun in the sun, the weather, the wind, the local apples, and the softball. Softball scene. I almost it almost makes me feel like I think about moving here. Oh, you should you should live here. I love that we don't have a choice. It's great. Wow, I'm honored. An exclusive invitation to an exclusive island for celebrities and entourages. There's just one thing. I hate to be I'd hate for it to be so exclusive that it's just me. Can you go and check with like the VPI manager? VPI? Wow. The VIP manager of the whole island first? Just so I know this is legit. Leave it to me. Good talk. What he's speaking so many languages. My fate is in your hands. Ha ha! He speaks German and Italian. He is a frog about the globe. Wouldn't talk. <laughs> At least he didn't, you know, he, he's, he's, his German is very good. He knows all of his greetings in like the, the, uh, the, he's, the he's a multilingual legend. Thank you, Yago, yes. All right, Henry. Henry is our our uh, obligatory smug. Ketchup, you shopping, girl? Oh, you're not. You're just looking. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Guten Tag. All right, Tom. Tom, why you look so busy? What What do we think that Tom Nook is actually doing back there? <laughs> Ah, Nini, hello, hello. Isabel mentioned it in today's broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. Nini, if you have time, or even if you don't have time, make time and go check in on our, I did, that's why I'm here. Tom, Tanuki, and if you get to an, if you get an opening, try talking to them, I, I did. I did it. What, really Nini? You've done it, and so quickly? Then this means we have no time to waste. Hmm, my next course of action will be building a new home. Now, Nini, since you closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick a location for the new home. Okay, all right. I got this. All right, give me the housing kit. Oh, we got it. <laughs> they couldn't give me, they couldn't do some animation for that. They just had to like, do it like a fade to black. That's hilarious. <laughs> Tom Nook using Tinder. <laughs> we got Eric yesterday. He is the best. He's hiding his food stash in the back of this folder. You think that, that Isabelle maybe like wants to take it? All right. I'm just I'm just putting houses in random places. I'm not really like concerned about like the locations of houses right now. Um, hello, hello. Tom Nook dubious gamer. That's right. Froggy, you're right. Tom's right and right. Y'all are funny. Um. Oh, I just pummeled, pummeled that uh, that flower there. Let's see. I mean, where can Henry move to? He would like a nice private spot, right? You know, he, I I think this isn't bad. Or wait, what about down here? Isabel looks like a chocolate stealer. She might be. She might legit be a chocolate stealer. Um, let's see. Oh, are we over here somewhere? 
I'm probably I'm just probably gonna move it eventually so I don't even know why I'm putting this much thought into it oh bye snowman <laughs> bye. okay um ooh. I mean does he want to live next to the campsite <laughs> how will he cross the river um I mean he's he can't cross the river he's just you know he's, he's trapped there trap all right, um. All right, he can, he can move right here, it's fine. Look at all this garbage in my, <laughs> my inventory. He's good. You ship Lily and Henry, that would be cute. That would be super cute. Um, here we go. Do I have a theme plan for Salt Bay? I do, Sammy. It's going to be food. So that means all food themed villagers and food areas. And I have been coming up with some plans. I have not like let anyone in on those plans, but plans are coming together. Like design plans are coming together. I'm very excited. That means, but that means we have to kick villagers out. <laughs> Um, to you know for food themed villager hunts, which are gonna be very fun um, But you know that that's part of the whole plan. All right, let's go back in here <laughs> Lily's promised to camel frog though. Oh, is she? Uh, yes, I found a place. I found a place Oh no. <sighs> Wait, are we now able to do our first villager hunt? Is that a thing now? Or do we have to wait till tomorrow? And by wait till tomorrow, that I guess I mean time travel till tomorrow. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I know it costs 10K. It costs 10K to build, but why does it cost 50, 50K to move a house, right? So it costs 50K to move a house or 30K? I remember it being exorbitantly expensive and being frustrated by the fact that it's super expensive. One plot for a day, you can do it. Well, I don't have enough money in my pocket to do it right now. Um, it's 50K? Yeah, oh, well, 30K for your own house. Like, why does it cost 10K to buy land and like build a house, but it costs 50K to move, move a house? Why? Is it the trucks? <laughs> you know? All right. So here's the deal. We can do, we can do a hunt. Um... But I think it might have to be like later today. You know what I mean? Like I'll come back. I got, cause I have tickets on my other island. Um, and we can, uh, we can do, we can do the hunt. Let me grab some money though. <laughs> Um, I gotta, and I gotta make sure that my husband is not, uh, not in the office at the same time as I am. Let's see. I enjoy a good villager hunt. It's good times. Um, not Amy Day. Oh, look how close I am to paying off my house. How annoying is that? You know what? You don't have to do this. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's what we're gonna do. 
We're just gonna make some cash, some quick cash, and we're gonna buy a plot of land, and then we will schedule a villager hunt for this evening. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't need bells. I got bells on my other island. I'm good, guys. Uh, I didn't have to leave yet, though. <laughs> what kind of choice is this? Hey, hey, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Nini! Nini? <laughs> Did you say Nini? What a happy name. Oh, yes. I'm... Leaf? Leaf? Life? I heard that my good pal Timmy moved out here, so I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before he moved here. What a happy adventure! I'm sorry, he would talk really slow, wouldn't he? I bet you were up to your ear holes in weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself, can you imagine if you're trying to shop, is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds and shrubs I bought with me will be featured in your final masterpiece. Me too. I recommend lining them up around your house along with Flowers, of course, for the best effect. You can't go wrong when you surround yourself with such beauty. By the way, I'm selling the happiest shrub I know, the camellia. And lucky for us, I hear a balloon. <laughs> It's currently in season, so we don't have to wait to appreciate its lovely blossoms. Oh yes! I also bought some pumpkins with the little pumpkin starts that I'd love to sell you. Just a few days after planting pumpkin starts, you'll have cheerful pumpkins even show them. Okay, 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 great, 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 great. It's great. Good time. Is there a balloon? Is there? Did, was that just my imagination? Where was it? I, I swear. Guys, we've discussed this before. But do do the balloon sounds or the possibility of like or like phantom balloon sounds, it like makes you crazy. Right? Okay. It may have just been my imagination. I think you just passed by it. Wait a minute. <gasps> uh, let's see. Wait, Villager Hunt is tomorrow? Wait, is it tomorrow or today? If we do, if we do, if we buy, if we buy a plot of land. I don't care if it's tomorrow or today. Um, either either day is okay. Confirmed. Conf you can do it today. Okay. Street organ. I wish this played like a little tune, right? Oh, it's today. Okay. Like. Oops. Jane, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I didn't turn on, I, I didn't turn on Zoom. <laughs> Zoom on this switch yet. <laughs> this is actually better anyway. Wait, wait, wait. Like, what is that? Is it's like, it's a squirrel, a bunny, and some birds and a bear. They're adorable. Okay. Um, hold on to the interaction to hear the music? Really? It does play a song? Hold on, hold, hold on, 
Hold on. Hold on. many hours have I played this game? Like a thousand? Okay, okay. It's now one of my favorite items in the game. I didn't know it played a little song. That is adorable. Leaf? So now I'm calling him Leif now. <laughs> can you please? Can you? Let's talk weeds. I am. I am. <laughs> exactly. <gasps> Whoa! I've never. Okay, guys. I've never sold my weeds to Leif before. Never. Um. Do I have any weeds? Do I have any weeds? Oh, whoops, I don't. I'm good. Oh, actually, I, we didn't... <laughs> Stupid. Uh, slingshot, I haven't even... I didn't even look to say what he had. Um, let's, let's shop. This is exciting. I love these. Give me five of them. I'm gonna run out of money before... <laughs> Buy the stuff from Tom Nook. <laughs> All right, give me five of these. Look at we're down to like, like three thousand bells. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I wish there were more sloth villagers. Do the, the sloths are too. Guys, nothing's cuter than a sloth. Like, let's be honest. It's so cute. All right, we'll just put these in my um, in my storage for now. Actually, we put a bunch of stuff in storage because um, one of the best ways I feel like to make bells, oh, I can't put these things in storage, it's so annoying, is actually, you know what, I'll just sell them, it's fine, is to um, go swimming, diving. I feel like that's some of the best like cash, you know? I don't know why. But we can pull weeds and sell them till till leave. Am I missing a tool? Oh no, I just I had to buy a new one. That's why that's there. Okay, put these tree branches up in there. Large snowflake. All right, sweet. <laughs> I just heard my dog go. <laughs> you know, like sometimes if your dog stretches out, and they're like, I love those noises. And also, um, do you guys ever have um, dogs that sleep bark? I think it's the cutest thing. It's the cutest thing. So it's like, woof, woof. It's adorable. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot that it's a new day. Um, I want to get the stuff that you have, but I'll get it later. I'll get it later. It's fine. Oh, I didn't want to sell the mama bear. Wait, the wharf roach. I need to donate these guys. Stupid blathers! <laughs> Your cat sleep meows? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I love when Clover sleep barks. He's, he's like, he just goes. <laughs> it's adorable. Um. Oh, look at this umbrella. This is so cute. Fairy tale umbrella. I love it. Um, anything exciting in here? No? Okay, that's fine. Alrighty. Alrighty. Lexi runs and barks in her sleep and makes noises. <laughs> I love when they're dreaming, it's so cute. 
It's so cute. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We might not have to like do, look at this. Look at this. Look, we got money. It's good. It's all good. Should we go back to Henry though? We haven't said anything to Henry. Hi, Ketchup. Wow. <laughs> She's practicing posing. That's cute. Cute. I forgot we had, I forgot I had planted some money trees. That's exciting. Okay, here you go, Blathers. I think I have to dedicate these, dedicate? Donate these to Blathers. Are these? Money trees are clutch, Whitney. They're amazing. All right, I'm not really like putting like a lot of effort into like, you know, the museum, but you know, I feel, I feel bad if I don't. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I miss Blathers tent too. I think this tent was really cool. Bye, Gabrielle. Bye. Have a good day. All right. Let's see. Uh, we're good, right? We donated those. What's this? Oh, the mama bear. I'll just stick it uh, somewhere. <laughs> it's going to have to suck to like pick up all these things. That's cute though. That's a cute bear. All right. Um, I'm like, did I plant any more of those money trees? Look! Look at me! Look! I'm good. We're good. We are good. It's your first stream. Welcome! Let's see what Canberra's up to. How many villagers do we have on the island so far? I don't even know. Uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five. So we get to buy four more plots. Uh, cause we have, well, we have, we, ha we have six cause we have Henry. So it sounds like it's like a good deal. Henry's pretty cool. I mean, he's definitely not a permanent villager, but he's a good, he's, he's good to start out with. Um, cause are there any food? Theme, well, chatter, chatter, rafter chatter. Yes, the, the food themed smug is chatter. Hey, Henry. But no, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna place them all now. Don't worry, Emma. <laughs> I'll do one. I'll do one. Hi. Yep, you're good. Oh, bye Jocelyn, have a good one. All right, wait, he's, he's, he's all good? It's all good? Wow. He's, he's, a, he's a serve, actually, a kind of, I like Henry. He's kind of good. Uh, you guys, I like all the frogs, though. I'm a frog girl. By the way, did you guys, uh, you guys realize that Froggy Crossing hit 100,000 subscribers? That's amazing. That's so amazing. All right, let's pick some weeds. Let's sell these anyway. Um, I cannot tell you enough about my, my intense love for chatter. <laughs> is this house good? Oh, that's exciting. I hope his house is good. Let's see. You love Rugged Crossing? Yeah, I love Raven too. She's amazing. Which villager is my favorite? I mean, I have a bunch of favorites, but I really, really like Camel Frog. She got it in 17 minutes of streaming? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I love, um, guys, the Animal Crossing community on YouTube is one of like the best communities on YouTube, but the best gaming communities and the best communities in general. I mean, as well as being um, a creator, which I kind of did look kind of late in the game, I'm definitely a viewer. Um, and I definitely have a lot of favorites. I, like, right before I came in here, I was on, um, I was on Twitch watching, um, Ryan FTW, and, I mean, a lot of, just some of the nicest people, oh my gosh, Gail, I have to get on my, on my ladder to, to see what you needed. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh, she's giving me this reaction? 
<laughs> Why, Gail? I mean, thanks a lot. You love Ryan FTW, yeah. Ryan FTW is one of my one of my one of the earliest um, Animal Crossing um, New Horizons channels I started to watch, and uh, I'm definitely in like the chat on like Nintendo Talk streams all the time. <laughs> uh, I love Pat, especially because he's a fellow New Englander, you know. So you know, feel like you can relate. Uh, but you know, I I love I love all all y'alls. Do I watch Tiger? I don't. I've I've seen I've seen Tiger come up on my recommended though, um, but I haven't watched. Um, let's see. So if, oh, the Amanda Files, super funny, super funny. And Kang is also my other favorite Kang gaming. Thank you. I love watching Kang on Twitch. He's so fun. Um, the community is really chill and super funny, and just you know, it's a good it's a good community. I do watch Ets um, as well. Um, Foggy Crossing hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Subscribers, that's what we're talking about. Um, so we're just cel we're just kind of celebrating um, all the uh, Animal Crossing content creators on the platform and on Twitch, I guess. Well, mostly on this platform because that's usually where I do most most of my watching. But I do watch Twitch too. Tiger's a really nice channel. I'll check out, check it out, check it out. Um, Froggy Cross is going to make a kid court island. Oh, really? Oh, I know that they. Um, I know that she had a, a video premiere this morning. I haven't really, I haven't had time to watch it, but I guess that's, uh, I guess that's what's next for her. That's exciting. You love Froggy Crossing and Kang, yeah. Kang is really fun. I love hanging out in Kang's streams and just with the community. It's it's a good it's a good community, um, and it's it's different. It's it's different than my other um, channel. Um, it's not like better or worse. It's just different. So I really like hanging out with you guys. You guys are a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, and you know, and uh, Crunchy Island <laughs> is fun too. And Chase, uh, it has a really nice voice. <laughs> so everyone's got their own, yeah, everyone's got their own style, own vibes. It's really good. It's a really good community. Kang is so chill, love his videos. Yeah, I love Kang, he's really chill. By the way, I think, I mean, I don't wanna say anything. I think, I don't wanna jinx it, but I do think that Kang may be adding to the family today. We'll see. We will see. I like Patton on Tengaki. He also just hit 100k. Yes, he did. So proud of him. So proud of him. Do you know or like Billy Jane? I don't. I don't. So I just, I'm, I'm going to check them out. I'm going to check them out. Thanks, hamster. Thanks so much. Oh my gosh. Picking up weeds is so, in oh, check his Twitter. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm excited. He posted a pic on Twitter? <gasps> he did, they had a baby? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them. I'm so excited for them. That's so cute. Yay. I'm so happy. Yeah, I was like checking Twitter, I think like um, maybe a few hours ago and I saw that he was like freaking out. <laughs> How long I think stream's gonna be? Oh, I'll probably be uh, live for another, maybe like 30 minutes or so. And then I have to, um, Talk to my husband about what time, what time I can village or hunt this evening. <laughs> Look at all these weeds. Look at them all. <laughs> Do I want a child? Um, no, I've, I'm childless by choice. I kind of um, just enjoy having a dog. Never really wanted a baby. And I don't think, I think that if it happened, well, at this point, it, it would be, it would be a rough time. But if it happened, I, I don't think it would be you know, the end of the world, but you know, I love, love, love being a dog mom. And that's pretty much all I've, I've always felt that way. Even though I like children, um, we just, nah. <laughs> Who had a baby? King Gaming had a baby. He and his wife had a baby. Very cute, had a little girl. I think their, um, a gender announcement video went viral or something. Um, so I thought it was, it was very cute. <laughs> oh, I did not, I did not mention Koromora. I'm picking pansies for some reason. Koromora is also amazing. And she, uh, she raided my stream a, a few weeks ago and, and I'm very appreciative for her. Uh, and she's been in here a few times in the, in the stream too. So I really, I, I appreciate, uh, supportive members of the community. Are uh, you 36? 
and just good with pets. Yeah, I mean, being a dog mom is pretty cool. <laughs> I've actually, um, when I was six, I wanted a dog, right? And my parents never let me have one. And, um, oh, and Ashlyn. Ashlyn Pierce is also really fun if you guys um, want to check out another re really wholesome creator who does a, little, a lot of Animal Crossing. Um, but I always wanted a dog since I was six, and my parents were like, would you settle for a cat? And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> and I had cats for the longest time, so I love cats too. Um, but I always, always, always really, really wanted a dog. And um, I finally, finally, finally was able to have the right um, lifestyle for a dog because dogs are a lot, a lot different than cats. You can't just like leave them alone all day. Um, a lot, well, m some of the time you you can't really leave them alone all day, like for like hours and hours and hours. Um, and they're not really that self-sufficient. <laughs> so um, when I started working for myself, I uh, decided that it was a dog. It was dog time. <laughs> and Clover is like the best thing that has happened to me. Like I love him. Do I like bigger small dogs? I like them both. <laughs> I like them both. I mean, we have a small dog just because I like. Um, I love Cavalier King Charles Spaniel because that's like the the dream dog I've been wanting since I was like I don't know six. But I love um, I love so much Bernie's Mountain Dogs. When I was working retail, I worked in a dog friendly establishment, um, and people would bring in their like Bernie's Mountain Dogs, and there'd be an people would announce over like the headset that there was a dog in the store and all of us would go run to the front of the store <laughs> and pet the dog. And when there was, there were these Bernie's mountain dogs that used to come in all the time and I used to just hug, just hug them, <laughs> just hug them. And I worked, um, I worked in a vet office, um, for like a year or so as a veterinary receptionist. And one of the people that worked in the office had a Bernie's mountain dog and I used to like just kiss it all the time. <laughs> I, used to, I used to just hug it. I'm like, I'm like, can I hug your dog? <laughs> They're so cuddly. They're like big teddy bears. Oh, buy your breaks over. Have a good one. So I love all, I love all doggos, big and small. My best friend in the world has two uh, chihuahuas and they're actually adorable. They're so cute. Um, chihuahuas may be a little small for me uh, if I were to like, you know, have a, have a pet. Um, because I like a dog that needs to, that is pretty active and, and Clover is um, actually a super athletic dog. Um, and to be honest, like his, his like two mile walk that I took him on today. Oh, nice. It's probably not enough for him. <laughs> um, he needs to play fetch for like an hour a day or he like is a menace. And if you, I'm not exaggerating. He's, he's a menace. He's a menace. Oh, bye Cushy. Um, but, and I, I like that he's really athletic and my, the, the lady that bred him actually warned me about it and I didn't believe her. I was like, oh yeah, she, whatever. Cause she, she was like, he's a really active little puppy. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, she's right. <laughs> she was totally right. He is out of control. He's got a ton of energy and all he wants to do is play the B-A-L-L. B -A -L -L. I can't say it out loud because he'll like wake up and be like, <laughs> but he loves the B-A-L-L. How do you come, have become a mod? There, is, when we are looking for mods, there'll be an announcement in the Discord. Um, too many risk factors after for over 35 to have kids. Yeah, like telling you. After 35, I feel like, I mean, chromosomes start falling off. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely possible, but my, um, my general physician had uh, like babies at like 40 and you know, she was fine, but it definitely a lot of risk factors after 35. After 35. Um, how much longer are we streaming? Probably um, maybe like 20 more minutes. I don't know. Oh, you got n uh, uh, Molly for free on Nookazon. How? How? And how the heck are we running into so many um, fossils. Jane, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. You're allowed to say, you just say I don't want kids. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't want them. Like them? Don't want my own. Love having dog. <laughs> 
dog is the best. Y'all, look at the look at the snowball on the beach. What is that mess? What is that nonsense? Like, can you just? Can you just? We love dog. Yes, we love dog. <laughs> Yeah, Clover is like the most fun and is like the, you know what he also, dogs are kind of amazing because they give you a really interesting perspective on life. Like, cause he doesn't know there's a pandemic happening, right? He has no idea. And life for him is like amazing cause we're home all the time. The pooper beetle pushed, oh yeah, you're right. The beetle is a party pooper. Oh, there we got it. 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 Every party needs a pooper. That's why we invited you. Party pooper. Beetle pooper. And all of you who press the thumbs down button. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Your cats made quarantine so much better. Yeah. The cats are like super cuddly. They're like, oh my gosh, my person is home. I can just cuddle them. Yay. Yeah. Pets are awesome. They're awesome. So awesome. All right. Is this going to be... Do. Ooh! Nice. My dog develops separation anxiety if we leave the house. You know what? <laughs> it's legit. I am actually worried for all the dogs in, uh, in America and everywhere right now who have now become attached and used to their people being there all the time. Like, what's going to happen when... I have to go see clients again. <laughs> All right, can you just... <laughs> Snowman talks a lot, doesn't he? What did he give me? I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, it's this the frozen counter. Thank you, Mr. Snow Person. Oh, wait. That gave me some Nook Miles too, didn't it? Hello? All right, are we good for um, weeds, I think? I think we're good for weeds. Where would I, where am I gonna put all these houses? Like, what's this? <laughs> what's the story? Okay. Anyway. Is being a professional organizer easy, rewarding? Um, easy, no. Rewarding, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's, it's not. It, I think it requires a, a lot of patience um, and the ability to deal with with people because the the dealing with stuff is only like half the battle it's dealing with people's relationship with their stuff um, and sometimes people's relationship with stuff is is not healthy and you sort of are like a a, a stuff therapist you know so it's it's you and your you're like a mediator between the, them and their stuff, you know? So um, I find that, and, and, and people's habits also. Oh, bye, Sebastian. Um, it's, it's, you're mitigating people's um, unhelpful habits and also fractured relationships with their stuff. So it can be um, challenging, but, 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 but very rewarding, at least personally rewarding for me. Um, because sometimes when I when I leave, it doesn't look like Pinterest, right? It just looks like there's less stuff there, and people are so happy. I used to think that like it, like what I was doing wasn't important, but people um, reassured me after the fact that that you know they appreciated the job that I had done there and stuff. Let me just remove this stump because like oh my gosh, do I deal with hoarders a lot? I don't. That is a very specialized kind of um, organizing. Uh, specialty and everyone every one of us has our specialties so some of us I'm I'm very focused on how helping people um, declutter their homes and um, improve their habits so that they don't end up in a in a place where it keeps getting disorganized so less on like the end results at looking pretty like I can do that if you want me to do that like I've been hired for those jobs before and they're really fun where like the client will go away and be like make it look like Pinterest and I'll be like okay and I'll go and spend their money at container store and stuff but that's very that's unusual for clients of of my of my 
business. I usually go and help people with their behavior, um, and it's uh, that's it's much more rewarding for me. Yes, perfect snowboy. I've mastered the snowboy thing. I don't know how I did that, <laughs> but we've mastered building snowboys. Why is this plasma ball here? I, it's got to go. Um, oh, Julie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Am I gonna go hunting? I am. Where am I going? Where am I going? Let's just take a second. I'm going to the plot. I'm going to the plaza. We're gonna go talk to, where is the plaza? <laughs> Everything looks the same. <laughs> Mama Pickle Juice, welcome to the stream. All right, buy my weeds. Buy my weeds, 20 bells a clump. Check them out. Wow. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't do too much villager hunting on one day. We're just, you know, it's intense. <laughs> it's intense. Um, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Oh, wow. What did we get? Dude, we, we are. The Nook Mile, like, the, the Nook Mile stuff is going well. You know why? Because I've been, like, I've been grinding off, off camera, really been grinding so you know me carrying 6k with me in case someone needs to get rid of weeds i know right right mm, yeah how's clover doing he's doing great he's doing great actually um in between lives i will probably take him for another walk um because he's just again I, I i tell you that like one walk is not good enough um he needs to like play actually let me what is all this cardboard boxes well not to candle i mean i'll make diys with these boxes holy socks and then a cedar sapling why does that end up in the <laughs> recycling <laughs> why i like what it why oh thank you so much miranda thank you so much you watch your streams while you do you know what i haven't done my nails in forever <laughs> My nails look jacked up. I should do that today. I should do that today. Or Breedis Clover, he is a cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which is the longest name for the smallest dog. How's the snow up in Boston? We, I mean, we didn't get very much and the snow we got was like wet and disgusting. And overnight it froze. So like on top of the snow, it's like icy and crunchy. It's disgusting. <laughs> like I went out there and I was like, oh, we're gonna go play the B-A-L-L in the park. And it was like too slippery. Um, for, so I, I was like, can't do it. What's my favorite color? That's a good question. It's blue, kind of, maybe? I, it's definitely blue. I don't know why I'm like <laughs> saying it's not blue. It is blue. The snow was so heavy. Yeah, it's like all icy and gross. At least you got snow? Well, Tegan, we don't, we'll, we'll, we'll take somebody's sunshine. <laughs> not snow, I hate snow. Snow is so annoying. Um, you only have three days of snow in the Netherlands? Really? Oh my gosh. Uh, time to hook, hook it up. I don't have the pink drink machine. I'm so upset about that. That would be cute. Um, let's talk infrastructure. Come to Phoenix. Oh my gosh, Phoenix is hot. What, how, what's the weather in Phoenix like right now, Tegan? Do you guys have like 50s, 70s? I'm in Arizona and right now it's 70 degrees all week. <gasps> perfect. That's the perfect temperature. But I do love Massachusetts because we got all four seasons and fall is amazing. Just winter stinks, you know? Like winter st And it doesn't even stink like, like at the end of the year, but it stinks in February and in March, it stinks. Because March, is the time where like everyone else is maybe having a, like a kind of a spring, but we're having like a nor'easter, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> oh, whoops. 
Do I watch football? No, I don't watch football. I need to empty my pockets. That's stupid. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that real quick. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, you think I'd like North Carolina? I mean, maybe. Um, every now and again, my husband and I like mess around with the idea of moving to California, but then I'm just, then I'm just like, nah. I don't think that I'm a West Coast kind of girl. I think that I'm an East Coast kind of girl, and I think that that uh, East Coast forever. You know. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's just make something out of these, just for fun. You live near Boston in Marshfield? I've been to Marshfield. Um. I've been to Marshfield like once. Is it once? Maybe it might a couple times. Let's see. Let's craft. Let's craft. Let's craft. Let's craft. What's craftable? Wait a minute. We can't make any like cardboard box things. All right, I'm over it. <laughs> over it. You've always wanted to go to Boston because you love new kids on the block. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you a story then. <laughs> and this is gonna, again, these stories are gonna age me. You know, I'm gonna put the melted candle on the wall. When I was um, a freshman in college, I went to Boston Conservatory, which is like in Back Bay. Um, what am I doing? It's in Back Bay, like near like um, Berkeley and like the Horticultural Society or whatever on the Fenway, near like Fenway Park. And I was like, joking to myself, I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna see new kids on the block here because they're from Boston. And they were like, they were legit my favorite, like my favorite when I was growing up. Like I was obsessed. I, it was like the only concert I went to. My mom took me to it at the Capitol Center, which is not even there anymore. Um, and I was at the Bank of Boston ATM. That's how old I am. Bank of Boston ATM. And who was behind me in line? But Jordan Knight. I turned around. I was like. <laughs> and I was like. Okay. What do I do? But I, So I didn't do anything. I just left. And I laughed. I was with my friend. Uh, Andrea. She can confirm the story. Um, and I was like. What do I do? And then. Like a couple weeks later. I was in, this is, this whole story is so Boston. I was in Dunkin' Donuts. Jordan was my favorite, by the way. He was my favorite. He was the cutest. And let me tell you, I'm not exaggerating when I say he was super handsome in person. In 1995 or, or six or whatever. So he was so good looking. A couple weeks later, I'm at the Dunkin'. And I see him at the Dunks. We're sitting there at Dunks, like my friend Pat and I are sitting there having, I'm having a medium French vanilla with cream and sugar. We're talking, we're making jokes because that's what we did. We sat at Dunkin' and we made jokes, my friend Pat and I. <laughs> he was a musical theater major and I was a music major and we would just sit around and make jokes and people watch. That was our hobby. And I'm like, dude, Jordan Knight is at, he's at the counter, he's ordering Dunks. And he's like, go up, say something. I'm like, no, man, no. So finally, <laughs> finally, my friend and I are walking down the street and I see him again for a third time. A third time. Jordan is a tiny human. He's not that tiny. I'm, well, I'm tiny. I'm 5'1", so he was, you know, he looked pretty good to me. He looked pretty tall. Um, you're a Donnie girl? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Finally, I see him a third time. In the street. And this time, I decided to go up to him and, and stop him. I, I tapped him on the back of the shol shol uh, shoulder. Scared the crap out of him. <laughs> and he turned around and was like, <gasps> And I'm like, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm like, I'm a big fan. I just want to say hello. I'm like, I've seen you around. And I just wanted to say hello. And let me tell you, first of all, he signed my Bank of Boston receipt. 
and he was the nicest person and talked to me for a long time. Part of me is a little suspicious he may have been, and this is not like to toot my own horn or like to say I'm fabulous, but part of me thinks he was a little flirty because I had to go. I got nervous after about 10 minutes and said my friend and I had to go to the calf, but he was very nice. And he was extremely good looking, perfect skin, just beautiful human. And that's the story. <laughs> and I never saw him again after that. I might have seen him like once. We're talking about Jordan Knight. Um, I may have seen him like once, but like I didn't, I did not see him after that. Actually, let's go and like um, assess, assess these fossils. <laughs> Jordan is short. I think he's, I don't think he's that short. He might be, what's he like 5'9 or something? You want to see the map? Here you go. Here's the map. I think it's a cool looking map. I actually don't, I, I don't want to terraform this very much. I think the map looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm literally like five one and a half. I like to add the half because that's really important. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's 5'11"? Okay, that's not, that's not short. That is my husband's height actually. So it's not short. Actually, is he 5'11"? <laughs> or 5'10"? I'm pretty sure he's 5'11". He's gonna kill me. But he always asks me how tall I am, so it's not just me. I think he's 5'11". I think he's I think he's pretty tall. Yeah, he's probably six foot tall. I like a good tall boy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I like a good tall boy. Husband is very handsome too. Handsome man. So that's and that's that's the tea. <laughs> that's the tea. Yeah, it's not short. Five eleven is not short. Uh, here you go, blathers. Oh, good. Now we can start selling freaking fossils now. You saw him in concert, he looks so small. <laughs> well, I think everybody looks small on stage, right? Don't they? Did I grow up in Boston? No, I'm from, um, I'm, I'm from military. So I grew up in a lot of different places. Um, everybody looks small on stage, I think. Like, Everybody. Ironically though, people have always told me like I look tall in pictures and I'm not. <laughs> but I guess I photograph tall, I suppose. Maybe I should be in like, you know, America's Next Top model. <laughs> That's not on anymore. I wish it was. I loved America's Next Top model. I thought that was the best. It was like, it, I when I'm bored, I watch um, re re reruns of America's Next Top model because it's the greatest. Yeah, I've lived in Boston since the 90s, yeah. I moved away and never moved back, much to the chagrin of my parents. Oh, Colin, have a good day. See you later. You grew up same every, yeah. Military, cost, yeah. Military brat is like, um, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. For some reason you have pictured you being really tall. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not tall. I am so short. Every time I rewatch it, I'm like, yeah, I can model. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> my parents are short too. Like my dad is um, like five six, and my mom's like five four. My dad might be five seven. I don't know. <laughs> um, but my husband's tall, and I, lo I love a good tall man. Just love it, love it, because you can like kind of wrap yourself up in like a really tall person, you know. <laughs> I only went to Boston a few years ago for my college, college, college eh, cousin's college graduation. Um, the city was so lovely. Yeah, it's a really pretty city. It's um, it's a really European-looking American city, which is probably why I like it. Um, it just, it's got so much history, and um, I actually really like Boston accent. is fantastic. I think it's fantastic. I love it so much. It's the cutest. Okay, you could have one night with Jordan. I know. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Wouldn't that have been the story? Wouldn't that have been the story? I'll put a house right here. This is fine. I curse my kids. My husband was 6'1 and my son is 5'9. Oh. I visited Boston in 2019 and really liked it. Visited the Cheers Bar. Oh my gosh. The actual Cheers Bar? I think there's two of them. There's one that's like a fake Cheers Bar and there's one where there's one bar where it's actually based off of. Um, let's see. Bill here. Oh, I just want to move it a little bit up. I, I want to move it over here, actually. I think it'd be cute if it was like right in front of the... Well, you know what? Let me shake this tree first. Who am I hunting for? Don't know yet. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Lindsay. That's so nice. Yay. I spent an afternoon in Boston on a road trip once. It was lovely, but the traffic was awful. Oh my God. Do you recommend, um, do you have any cities recommend on the East Coast? Well, I'm from DC. DC's okay. I mean, DC is a lot about politics. So, I mean, it's the, the, the culture there is really intense about politics, of course. Um, but like, I, the traffic here, y'all. Because I learned to drive in the DC area where roads made sense, when I came here and started to drive around, I, I'd like anxiety attacks abound. <laughs> like roads don't make sense in Boston and in Massachusetts and the traffic is horrific. <laughs> and, and drivers are insane. Actually, this was the first, for the first time in my life, I witnessed, and I call it, I've been calling it Massachusetts left every time I'm driving here. Um, if you're in like traffic and you're at a stoplight, right, you're, you you want to go forward and there's on, on oncoming traffic, they're also at a stoplight. As soon as the light turns green and they're turning left, like the oncoming traffic, they will go in front of you and not yield to you. And I call it Massachusetts left. It's so dangerous, but I've never heard, I've never seen anywhere else where that's like a thing. And it's a thing here. And I always wait for someone who's got their blinker on to do a Massachusetts left. Cause like, that's insane. DC is so scary to drive in. True. <laughs> that's true as well. When I, the times I've driven around in DC, actually I was more scared than I was driving around in Boston. Did not appreciate it. Don't like it. <laughs> not into it. Um, but now I'm used to driving around here and I'm used to parallel parking, which is an entire skill in itself but um yeah so guys look we have oh I, I, all those trees got taken away how sad i'll get more trees so we have an open plot we have an open plot so i think what's going to happen right now is i'm going to end the stream and i'm going i'm sorry flowers i keep humbling flowers and i'm going to schedule another villager hunt for this evening um, and if you are around, come around for a hunt. Cause a hunt is always like a really intense kind of experience. And I don't want to like have a hunt and a uh, check-in stream on the same stream. <laughs> what is this? What is this? A tissue box. Great. British drivers are known to be the best drivers due to small and narrow ri Really? Really? Interesting. Interesting. What time? Don't know yet. Have to check with um, the spousal unit because we because we share an office. <laughs> so, um, but I will schedule it as soon as I get off of stream, so that you can either um, uh, plan to watch it or plan to watch the replay. Either way, it'll be up as a video anyway. Um, but I hope you guys are having a good day. I think the title goes to the Germans. You guys, I love. <laughs> I've been loving this conversation. <laughs> All I think it does is shipping off to Boston to dropkick Murphy's. Oh, and he's safe. Oh, I, I can't wait till like the world is sort of normalish again. So like we can go to like concerts and bars and restaurants and all that and hang out and have a good time. I miss it. I miss it a lot. All right. We will be back this evening for a hunt. Um, I will come up with a list so that 
<laughs> no one keeps asking who I'm watching for. But thanks, guys, for joining, and I will see you this evening. I hope you guys have a great, great morning, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.